proposition 34. In parallelogrammical figures, the opposite sides and angles are equal to one another. And a diagonal cuts them in half. Cuts what half? Cuts the parallelogrammical figure in half. So let's have, let's create a parallelogram. Okay. Let's say A, B, C, D. What is given? Given is A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. And B, C, the diagonal. So let's connect BC. Now what do we have to prove? We have to prove AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD. AC is equal to BD. AC is equal to BD. Angle B A C is equal to angle C D B. B A C is equal to C D B. Similarly, angle A B D is equal to D C B. A B D is equal to A D C. This should be A. ABD is equal to DCA or in short what all these four statements means is that opposite sides and angles are equal okay now we know in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel so AB is parallel to CD and BC is the transversal angle ABC is equal to BCD ABC is equal to BCD ECD why alternate angles now AC is parallel to BD and BC is the transversal. So which means ACB is equal to angle CBD. ACB is equal to CBD. Why? Again, alternate angles and BC is equal to CB. Common side. So, which means, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BCD. Why? Angle side angle. Which means what? When we say these two triangles are congruent, it means that the corresponding sides and angles are equal. Right? So, which means that this is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. So, AB is equal to CD. AC is equal to BD 
angle B A C is equal to C D B. Now, if we look at the entire figure, what do we notice? We notice that the parallelogram is equal to the sum of these two triangles, right? Triangle ABC plus triangle BCD, right? See, when we, when we are adding these two triangles, it basically means that the area covered, area of the triangle plus the area of this triangle is equal to the area of this parallelogram. But ABC is equal to BCD is congruent. If they are congruent, it means that the area covered is equal. So we can say ABC plus and substitute this with ABC itself or otherwise also you can replace ABC with BCD. So we get two times ABC. And if we take the two to the other side, we get parallelogram divided by two is equal to triangle ABC. So we have proved this also. And by the way, that is one more thing that we had to prove, which I didn't include parallelogram when we divide it by 2, we get the triangle ABC or BCD. Okay, so that is proposition 34.